Photoluminescent spectroscopy is a contactless, non-destructive method of probing the electronic structure of materials. Light is directed onto a sample where it is absorbed and imparts excess energy into the material in a process called photoexcitation, which luminescence is called photoluminescence. Photoexcitation causes electrons within a material to move into permissible excited states. When these electrons return to their equilibrium states, the excess energy is released and may include the emission of light, a radiative process, or may not a non-radiative process. Photoluminescent actually is a kind of characterization method that is used to do the optical and electronic um, characterization of a, a device. With this method, you can actually know the purities inside a single material because um, no matter how you pure is your material, there is there's some kind of impurity inside. With the photoluminescent, we can actually figure out you know, what is uh, the impurities inside the things by looking at the optical and electronic properties of the, uh, this uh, layer using the photoluminescent uh, characterization. It's not, uh, it's not like uh, XRD because um, XRD is using X-ray but photoluminescent is uh, using this um, laser light uh, normally it's a uh, visible light um, direct band gap material Of course our FM system and photoluminescent is mainly used for our own institute for our own research but, but we actually we are welcome uh, you know, from the university, from the private sectors. Uh, if you have your sample, you want to know more about your samples, and of course, if you if you if you need uh, AFM photoluminescence uh, study characterization on this, you are welcome to send in your sample. We will characterize for you, and we can even do analysis for you. Recently, we are not, uh, recognized by Ministry of Higher Education at Centre of Ceylon where we focus on uh, the application of MEMS in artificial kidney based on uh, our expertise on MEMS. Uh, vision for women um, since the establishment of this institute in 2002, we want to make women as a research center uh, at the international standard, uh, international standard. So not only in the country, but in, in the world. So now, uh, after 15 years, I think I can say that we already achieved the goal to be the uh, research center uh, at par with other research centers in the world.